Very special guest in the audience, and uh, we're, we're going to introduce you to him. He's a young lad by the name of Sean Wilson Miller. You may have seen him. He's been in the news in the past week for uh, sad reasons. He's had two heart transplants already, as uh, this young man. You faced what. up to more challenges in his short life than anyone really should have to. And uh, we have found out that he's a massive footy show fan and, more importantly, a massive Essendon fan. And the fact that Job's in here tonight, we thought we'd get him in and introduce him to her. So, Sean, welcome to the show. Can stand for a minute. Joe will sit next to you. Now, just tell us about uh, your love of the Essendon Footy Club. Where, where, how come you're back for the Bombers? I just like um, the red and black. You just the like colours, red and black? Yeah, the colours red and black. And, and your <laughs> well, that's, that's as good a reason as any. That's as good a reason as any. Yeah. And your favourite player? Who's your favourite player? Right um, the uh, two. Well, Joe you, Watson well, and Michael that. Early. Who was the other one? Michael Early. Ah. <laughs> now, now, I, I just want you to just think about this for a minute. Uh, you wouldn't understand uh, what is happening to this lad. Stand up. Now, come on, I want you to show... This. Just, I want you to lift up your shirt. This man here, this young man, has had two of someone else's hearts put in his body. And he's staggering and he's in trouble. And uh, if we reckon we know what adversity is and uh, we complain about the traffic or getting over the Westgate Bridge, uh, just spare a thought for this young man, Sean. Yep. He's uh, doing it tough, and uh, the thing that has inspired him is you. And it must be humbling for you, Tim, to know that a man in his circumstances... Tim. Does... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. Sorry, Joe. It must be... Uh, Joe, it must be humbling for a man who is in his circumstances just wants to meet you just in whatever time he's got left with us. Yeah, it certainly is, and, um, you know, it's only small... Part, but um, you know the, the footy club would love to have you and your family down for the round ten game and come down to the rooms and, and meet Herdy and the guys and and also we've got uh, a footy and a, a jumper here for you and oh, wow. uh, I know it's uh, it's only small but the boys oh. really appreciate you know the supporters that we have. And... Thank you. is get you to stay with us because we're going to have a look at the uh, the Essendon game and we want to get you a very, very special thought. So Mark Murphy's going to talk us through and then we want to get you to give a message to the Essendon boys. So uh, Murph, next one is Essendon. We've got uh, Essendon v West Coast on Saturday night. Uh, the Bombers are flying at the moment. They go in unchanged. Uh, you can see Brett Stanton there is flying at the moment. Had 39 touches last week. Um, 154. Who are you picking, Murph? Well, I, I think uh, Essendon will, will win. I reckon... Uh, <laughs> I think uh, the Eagles have got a, quite a few men of injuries, so uh, I think they'll, they'll find it tough to, uh, to scrap forward, missing Josh Kennedy, Mark Nikoski, um, and Michael Crow, obviously, for the year. So I think uh, the Bombers will win. Can't wait to watch the matchup of uh, Coxie and Bell Chambers. I think the improvement, uh, the, the master v the uh, bloke on the rise. And I think, uh, I just think seven of their best 22 out uh, West Coast at Etihad Stadium. Bombers rarely lose, so I think they can win. All right. Coxie. Haven't put a foot wrong, your boys. Uh, this is a nice challenge against the Bombers. Yeah, it is. Essendon, obviously, um, up and going, playing some fantastic football. And um, we're going to have to be at our best to knock them off. And just obviously want to say congratulations to Bo Waters, who plays his 100th game, a vice captain of our footy club. And it's probably taken him nine or ten years to get to 100 games just with what he puts his body through. So um, he's really inspiring for our teammates. And... Hopefully he can do it again. Uh, Joe, we need to quickly mention that uh, Bombers members, because of the unique way that they access seats at uh, Eddie Head when you play these big games, need to book a ticket. Because if they don't, general admission for this game is basically sold out. So if you want to get and see uh, the Bombers take on the West Coast Eagles in the biggest game of the weekend, if you're a member of the club, you need to book a ticket. Uh, everything's going... You mentioned David Evans, and uh, he has done a great job. Everything's going beautifully off-field. The new facility out at Tullamarine, everything's swimming along nicely. 
Yeah, I think the new facility, uh, the, the turf will be ready for November uh, pre-season and uh, the facility should be finished by April next year. So, uh, Jimmy, I'm not sure uh, it's a, if you're a non-member of the Essendon Footy Club, you need to book your ticket. Right. So members have a seat. So if you're a non-member and you want to go, you can't just roll up, you need to book a ticket. Now, Shorty. Yeah, come on. What come do you on, reckon? What do you think Give about this? Give us a reason why. you got Cox over there, the West Coast champion. Yeah, I've got to hold my... Yeah, you've got to look. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about the colours. We know they're black and white. Who, they're black and red. Why are the Bombers going to win? Um... The Bombers are going to win because of our captain, Joe. Yes. And... And everyone, he's not finished. And, Hang on. And Aaron Davey. He surprised us Elwin? all. Elwin? Elwin Davey, yeah. Yep, yeah. indeed. Elwin mm. Davey. Yeah, if I can call him Tim, you can call him <laughs> Elwin. <laughs> <laughs> what, about, what about Joe? Uh, we, uh, Lloyd, you mentioned Tom Bell Chambers in great form. And Paddy Ryder, where does it leave your great mate, David Hill? Yeah, well, I think Hill is due to return probably in two weeks' time. Um, I think the way David can play, that he can complement the other the other two guys. Um, also, I think that there'll probably be a stage where we'll rotate uh, one of them just to give him a break. We've only got three Ruckman on our list, so they're all pretty vital. So um, I think that uh, he'll be sort of uh, intertwined into the group. Well, Shawnee, uh, again, mate, from all of us here, yep. our big footy show audience, we wish you all the best. Don't forget that round 10, um, I think it's against the Demons. It is against Melbourne. Danger, game, danger game for you, Shawnee, do you think, <laughs> yeah. against the Demons? I don't think so. What? <laughs> you don't think so? No. Oh, well, you're in uh, good hands, mate. I just want to, like, to say a special thanks to the Royal Children's Hospital and... Um, yep. Yep. <clears throat> um, ...my transplant coordinator, and Ship. And Dr. Robert Weintraub. Oh, well you. done. <laughs> and Joe, just quickly, before we let the, uh, the two of you go, uh, just mention Sean that his other favourite player is Michael Hurley. How far away is he? Uh, Hurls was knocking down the door to play this week and was very unhappy when he got told he wasn't. So he'll be right for uh, Richmond Dream Time next week. And while I've got you quickly along the panel, yes or no, state of origin footy, you want it back and would you play? Uh, yeah, I'd play, um, but uh, I, I think it might be incorporated. I'd like for it to be incorporated, perhaps, in the last week of the NAB Cup. It could be Coxie? Yeah, totally agree. Yep, play? Yep, move. definitely. You blokes have said it all before, but when push comes to shove and the game comes around, you all pull out. And the only way this will work is if you all continue to put your hand up and actually follow through. So if it was in the NAB Cup, you'd all make yourself available. Yeah, I think that last week in the NAB Cup, I reckon, probably the perfect time for it. Sam disagrees? No, we... well, I won't tell you why. Well, we'll tell you why later. A bit, a there's, bit later. A, there's a sensible reason why I disagree. Okay. A right. logical reason, and we should mention it. It's, it's a romantic notion to have it, yep. but there is a very sensible reason why we shouldn't have it. Okay, we'll get to that a little later. We will. We need to thank these two uh, fine people for joining us. Joe Watson is here, as is Sean. So thank them both very much. Take a break on the footy show back with plenty more after this.